everyone. Welcome to our best bets video. The college football season is back. The 2024 season is about to kick off this weekend. We have four games coming up. We're going to look at every single one of them, look at the spreads, the money lines, and the over-unders, basically focusing on the betting portion of every single game and try to predict what we think is going to happen. Go ahead, hit that like button, and subscribe. If you have any comments, drop them below, and I will make sure to respond. So the 2024 college football season, it is about to kick off. College football is finally back. I already have my predictions video out, so you can go look at that for a more in-depth version of every single one of, of these games. But we're going to kind of briefly preview them and then mainly focusing on that betting portion, as I mentioned. So things are kicking off Saturday, August 24th, 2024. Our very first game, 12 p.m. on ESPN, number 10, Florida State versus Georgia Tech. This game is going to be in Dublin, Ireland. Very rare game, very odd game across the world in Europe. So it's more than just a road game. These teams are completely out of their element. They're going to get there early. They should be well rested, but they're going to be a little out of their element. Anything can happen week one. But Florida State, 11 point favorites here, the over under 55 and a half. Florida State beat the crap out of Georgia Tech last time they played. We know that Florida State, with everything that happened last season, with how last year ended, they want to make up for that this season. They want to play really well this season, win the conference. And if you win the ACC, there's no way that they can be left out of the playoffs now. They'd have a shoe in, they'd get the bye week. Obviously, they lost a lot of their stars from last season. Trey Benson's gone, Jordan Travis is gone, Keon Coleman's gone, but Mike Norvell's been working the portal. He's been recruiting. They have a very talented team. They have a top 15 roster. They have the running back Williams coming in. He's going to lead the way on the ground. DJU transferred over from Oregon State. He's familiar with the ACC from his time when he played at Clemson. He's a good quarterback. He's not going to win the Heisman, but he's a good, solid quarterback for what Florida State needs him to do. The offense is going to roll. Defense is always going to be their strength led by Patrick Payton on that D-line, getting a good D-rush. Now, Georgia Tech, 7-6 and six last year. King is back at quarterback. Haynes is back at running back at 1,100 yards last season, 6.1 yards per carry on the ground. Georgia Tech ran for 204 yards a game. Georgia Tech is going to look to run the clock out, keep the ball on the ground, ground and pound, but you're running directly into that Florida State defensive front, which is their strength. This game is strength on strength. Florida State is favored. I'm going to go with Florida State to get the win here. I have them winning 33-20. to 20. So I do have them covering that spread, but I'm going to go with the under. I don't have them scoring more than that 55.5. and a half. I, I think the game's going to be a little more lopsided, but Georgia Tech gets a late touchdown in the fourth quarter, but Florida State still wins. The next game that we're going to look at, 4 p.m. on Fox Sports, Montana State FCS versus New Mexico FBS. But the FCS team is actually the favorite here. They are 11-point favorites and the over-under 54 and a half. It's very rare that you have an FCS team favored over New Mexico. But when you look at New Mexico, you see why Montana State is the favorite. Montana State is actually a pretty decent team. New Mexico has a lot they're working on. This team's going to be led by Brocco Mendenhall. They went, I think, 2-10 and 10 the last two seasons. So they have a lot that they need to make up for here. They're not very good on offense. They're not very good on defense. So they need to perform a lot better. New Mexico, they are getting there. They have a head coach who's coached at FBS, but they have a lot they need to work on. Montana State can move the ball, more or less passing vertically down the field. They have a solid defense when you look at the stats there on the side screen. They performed very well last season. They have a lot of starters back. I'm going to go with Montana State getting the win, 35-20. to 20. Three, So I have them covering that spread, and I will be going with the over, the rare game where the FCS team will be beating the FBS team. Then at 8 p.m. on CBS, the to me the second best game, we have SMU versus Nevada. This game is going to be in Reno, Nevada. SMU a 26-point favorite, the over under 56.5. That is a massive spread. It's pretty hard to pick games when the spread's that big, especially when it's FBS versus FBS. But SMU, 
I think it's an injustice they are not ranked. They should have been in the top 25 to start the season. They have a lot of playmakers back. You have Rhett Lashley as the head coach. You have Preston Stone back at quarterback. Knighton back at running back. They have wide receiver weapons. The uh, defensive end Roberts is back. They had a top 20 offense last season, a top 30 defense, a very well-rounded team. They're going to succeed in the ACC. This is an under-the-radar team. If you don't take them serious, they're going to beat you. Nevada. Nevada has not been good for a few seasons now. Back-to-back atrocious years. They need to work on offense. They need to work on defense. They are at home starting the season. But SMU wants to make themselves known. They want to put the ACC on notice that they are there and they're ready to play. I have SMU winning this one. 45-17, to a very convincing win starting out the season 1-0. I have them covering that spread. I'm going with the over. As I was saying, this is a very well-rounded, legitimate team. The final game for the Week 0, 11.59 p.m. on Saturday. They have it one minute before 12 because once it hits 12, it's technically a Sunday game. We have Delaware State FCS versus Hawaii FBS. This game is going to be in Honolulu. Hawaii still doesn't have their stadium. Both of these teams have a lot they need to work on, but gosh, Delaware State is traveling a really long way to play Hawaii. That completely plays into Hawaii's favor. When you look at the Vegas here, they have the spread. Hawaii's favored by a 39. Oh my gosh, that's massive. And the over-under is 57 and a half. Hawaii is going to win this game. Delaware State, not a good team. They are an FCS, and they're not one of the best FCS. Hawaii... They're not a good team either. When you when you look at the stats there, this is not a team that scores a lot of points. This is not a team that has a solid defense. But there should be a massive talent advantage here. They are in Hawaii. That has to mean something. This team traveling that far to play them week one. But both teams are going to want to show out. Hawaii is going to win it. I have them winning this one 44-18. to 18. Not covering, but I will be going with the over. So that's our breakdown of our week zero best bets. And boy, are we glad college football is back. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you have any comments, leave them below and I will respond. Thank you.